Greetings and salutations, welcome back to another Rust video. Today we're going to have a quick look at three new circuits I've learned over the last month while hanging out in the Rustricity Workshop Discord. It's a great place to come and learn all different things about electricity in Rust. There's lots of great people that are happy to help you and lots of great resources available. To start things off, we're going to have a look at two variations of a bypass battery backup circuit. The first one we're looking at is the uh, ore blocker circuit. Now this is an outdated circuit from back when batteries could only charge or discharge. They couldn't charge and discharge at the same time. So essentially what this circuit is, is you're taking power from your root source and you're splitting off what you need for your circuit and the rest of it is going into blocking the batteries and charging the batteries but when the power that's coming from your windmills or solar panels for example falls below what you're branching off that, so that it can't block off the batteries anymore the battery power takes over and you still get your power to your circuit but your batteries aren't charging so you're essentially wasting power that you've branched off which is going to nothing now over here we have the modern version which is known in the community as a knee core so what we're doing here is taking advantage of the fact that batteries can now charge and discharge at the same time we're using a memory cell here so when the power drops below the required amount to block the batteries it also diverts the power that would have been wasted back into the batteries to charge them so your batteries are going to last a lot longer because you're taking advantage of using that residual power now we're going to move on now to our next circuits to have a look at now we can see here again we have two variations here we have a hardwired circuit so Everything here is using branches to branch off power. So there's always going to be that power available. For example, our switch, which is going to be our trigger for this circuit and for our circuit. So this, for example, could be a trap base where you've got your HBHF sensor and it sets off. So opens the door, there's your turret. You can see that it's always 83 power left over from the 100 we put in. So it's using 17 power all the time. Now over here we have what's known in the community as a configure siphon. We can see here that there's 93 power left from the 100 we put in when the circuit's not active. So it's always using seven power, but when we turn it on, it drops down to 77. But all the time that it's not being used, we're saving 10 power. So this is a good way to, uh, if you've got something that needs to be conditionally turned on, you can save all that power using the configure siphon. Now, lastly, we're gonna have a look at a destruction detection circuit. So what this circuit is designed to do is, if there is a piece of building tile destroyed or a door broken, it will trigger the circuit. Uh, here we have it set to a smart alarm and a flashing light. You can see when we uh, destroy that wall, it triggers a circuit. So you'd get a notification on your Rust Plus. And as you can see, it works for the doors as well. That's a handy little way to get a notification if you are getting raided and it's extremely low powered. So that's a really cool circuit. So as I was saying, I learned all of these circuits over at the uh, Rustricity Workshop Discord over the last month. Uh, one of the great resources that's made available there is the Rustrician's Handbook. It's a 133-page, very in-depth guide to all things electricity and rust. Uh, there's also a bunch of example circuits that people have made using Rustrician. It makes it very easy to uh, follow along and duplicate those for yourself in-game. But for now, that's all we got time for. Uh, hopefully I'll see you over there on the Discord. Feel free to reach out. Always happy to help with circuits. And uh, otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.